Blender just upgraded to 4.5, and with it comes a ton of new changes. Rendering upgrades, powerful new notebooks, there is so much to talk about. But on top of all that, this update secretly introduced a brand new system six years in the making. A system that's going to change Blender forever. So let's break it down. Welcome to the Smith Brief. Each update, Blender gets a slew of new toys to play with, and this time is no different. There's so much packed into this one single update, but I want to start with Booleans. Blender's Boolean modifier has always been kinda glitchy or just straight up doesn't work the way you want it to. Making complex Booleans like this was a struggle, not to mention animating this Boolean would instantly cook your PC. But now there's a completely new method that fixes all of these issues with one click. It's called the Manifold Solver, and it's the best of both worlds. What you're seeing is buttery smooth animated booleans running in real time. This puts speed and precision together, meaning faster workflows wherever you're working. Sculpting, modeling, animation. The possibilities this opens up is incredible. Motion graphics, procedural animation, these were once super complex to do without a specific add-on or a strong will to live. Liquid Sims. Water is one of the most challenging things to create in 3D. Simulating hundreds of thousands of particles is no easy task. Even the best of the best need special software to create something remotely realistic. For Blender users, we have Mantiflow, and it's, it's not the best. <laughs> <laughs> this thing behaves so unpredictably, sometimes needing hundreds of iterations and thousands of hours to get the exact result you want. It's frustrating, but with Blender 4.5, things got a whole lot better. There's more stability when simulating, improvements to the user interface, and baking simulations is up to 1.5 times faster. Huge. Geometry nodes. Geometry Notes is one of the coolest areas in Blender. The community frequently makes these unbelievable artworks, tools, and simulations all inside of GeoNodes. And with 4.5, there's now even more nodes to play with, like the Normalize Mesh node. This lets you essentially join geometry together without destroying the topology. You can now drag and drop any object into Blender from any window. I'm talking SDLs, OBJs. You can even do your taxes if you want to. There's now a brilliant camera info node as well. This allows you to create some camera culling effects as well as geometry creation from the camera's POV. Grease Pencil also got a ton of new nodes. Coloring, softness, depth. This opens up so much control and creativity for anyone who uses Grease Pencil. There's so many other cool little updates as well, like standardized nodes for the compositor and the shader. Lights now use Kelvins, like the real world. FBX imports are 15 times faster. Gridfield can now do this, and UVs are always visible. Most of these updates are possible thanks to the secret system Blender introduced. But first, I wanna talk about one of Blender's biggest updates yet. Animation is what I live for. It's the reason for my channel, and whenever there's some kind of update, I usually cover it. This time, we have two major improvements to the animation workflow. The first one being this. You can now snap to keyframes, markers, strips, even seconds in any editor with a timeline. I don't care who you are, this is the most satisfying update, and I'm so glad they finally introduced this. Shape keys are essential for almost all aspects of animation. It's how animators can create incredible emotions for characters like this. But to create a shape key, it is stupidly time consuming. You have to go through 10 steps just to do this. And it gets even more complex when you're trying to create a different emotion. Usually you have to start from scratch or mix a bunch of pre-existing shape keys together and start from there. It's a mess. 4.5 fixes this with two new buttons. Duplicate and copy from mesh. These do exactly what you think they do and it saves so much time. There's also some quality of life changes. Auto normalization is now a thing. You can select families of bones in pose mode now and bones can now be overridden in the viewport to be whatever you want. 
bendy bone, stick bone. This makes animating a super complex rig way easier. Or if you're a psychopath, you can do this too. But all of these updates pale in comparison to what Blender has been working on for over six years. And I want to show you what that is. For years, Blender has been using an old system to display and process pretty much everything inside of Blender. It was developed in the early 90s and it works great, but there's one major flaw and that is this. The system is called OpenGL and it runs off of one single CPU core. Most PCs today have multiple cores. Mine has 16. No matter how powerful your PC is, OpenGL is hard-coded to this bottleneck. But over the past decade, a competing system has emerged, one that allows us to fully utilize all of our CPU, and its name is Vulkan. This explodes the possibilities of what we can do in Blender. There's already faster load times, shader compilations are lightning quick, animation in the viewport is finally stable, adaptive subdivision is now way faster and more efficient than ever. Look, I could even sculpt this 6 million polygon model with ease and Blender doesn't even flinch. There are so many small things that this touches inside of Blender. It honestly feels like the discovery of that topographical quantum chip. <laughs> it's a pretty big deal. All of this is thanks to Vulkan. It spreads the workload over multiple cores, unlike OpenGL. If you follow Blender at all, you probably already heard the news. I kind of feel like the town crier meme with how late I'm posting this. But this update is one of Blender's biggest yet, paving the way for all future releases and has quite literally changed Blender forever. Now, with all these new updates to play with, you probably have a bunch of new confusion too, especially when it comes to GeoNodes. And if you wanna actually get better at GeoNodes, which is essentially just math, you'll wanna check out Brilliant, the sponsor of this video. It's a learning app that helps you think clearer and solve problems faster using hands-on lessons in things like maths, science, programming, or even AI. There's no boring lectures either. You're interacting, solving puzzles, and figuring things out step by step in a way that's actually fun. I've been using Brilliant in between projects, and it's kind of the perfect way to stay sharp, especially with maths. Maths was not my strong suit in school, but there's a whole maths course in here that's surprisingly effective. Plus, it's just a way better habit to be learning on your phone rather than doom scrolling every day. Hit the link in the description or scan the QR code on screen and you can try Brilliant for free. Plus, you'll get a 20% off a full year of premium. Thanks to Brilliant for sponsoring this video.